Hey everyone, Eric with Rockin' H, and here's another way to get rid of glue haze. Now, you may have seen my other video where I show you how to use Vaseline on a Q-tip to get rid of glue haze caused by CA-type glues or other types of super glues. This by far is my favorite way to get rid of glue haze, and it is as simple as not using glue that causes glue haze. This is called Formula 560. It's canopy glue you can buy for about five to actually about four to about six dollars anywhere online just google zap canopy glue formula 560 i think it comes in a couple of different colored bottles it's the same thing as i am understanding uh, but do read the labels but this is the stuff i've been using successfully for a while and i use it on places where i have clear plastics and guess what glue haze is never a trouble anymore and What's nice about this stuff is it does dry clear. Unlike uh, other forms of like Elmer's types of glue where they might have a bit of a haze to them. Anyway, this is how I'm using this stuff. And hopefully I grab this, uh, the correct headlight the first time. Freightliner headlights can be kind of tricky. And if you hear some thunder in the background, there is a huge thunderstorm raging just to the east of where I live. Hasn't hit my town. Uh, let me see, I think I get this. Yep, I've got this in the wrong side. That should be on the driver's side, not the passenger. So you'll notice that I have got glue all over that plastic and I'm not really too worried about it because guess what? It's going to dry clear and won't be a problem. Ah, that makes more sense. There we go. And then you'll still see the chrome behind it. There we go. Just like that. I said it does dry clear, and I'm going to show you an example of that. So last night, I glued in this window right here, and I used canopy glue, and you can see right here, you can see there's some glue right here. You can see this line where it kind of oozed out over the clear plastic here and right here and there and there and you can see through it, it's clear. Now you can see the line, there's no doubt, but uh, it doesn't stand out real badly like some other types of glue. I also use that on the inside here, you can see that's drying yet. Uh, some of it's already dried clear, but some of that thicker stuff is still drying on the inside. Also, I use that because I don't want haze on the inside of my windshield. There you go, a great way to get rid of glue haze is to never let it happen. If you like this video, share it with a friend. Also, subscribe to Diecast Lab. That's the best way you can support my channel and support everything that goes on with Rockin' H. I'll lead you by the hand, step by step, with video tutorials, white papers, and other downloads that will teach you everything I know, even how to turn your hobby into a profitable business. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.